So another hidden feature um, where I used to sort of experiment with, with, with especially Samsung phones, is the hidden engineering modes. Um, so if you're an engineer or you like to sort of tweak your own coverage and try to enhance the um, you know the capability of the, of the network coverage, um, you can play around with the engineering mode. Um, so the mo fortunately enough, uh, Motorola does have the engineering mode, but it's kind of it's kind of uh, locked. So you have to kind of uh, apply a workaround solution to get into it. Um, I'll show you how it works on, on this Motorola anyway. So to get into the engineering mode, it's um, star hash, star hash, 4636, hash star, hash star. So that gets you into a test mode. Obviously, you've got to be very careful what you're doing here because uh, for the untrained user, uh, you could you could render your phone sort of, you know, useless or not useless, but degraded if you, if you went and you know, play around the debugging, especially the, the 5G LTE settings. Um, but if you know what you're doing, it's quite useful, and, and especially if you do network testing. Um, so I'll just give you, I'll just show you how, how it's used. So obviously in that mode there, this is where you, obviously I've got two work profiles, personal. So in this mode, you can look at the technical information on the uh, mobile cell that you're picking up. So it's all technical information with cell IDs, uh, frequency bands, receive signals, etc. I won't dive too deeply into it. Um, but generally, you can only read this information. You can't actually get into it to, to do any manipulation. Now, if you uh, if you want to, you know, carry up some enhancements, so I'll give you an example. You want to go in there uh, and, and lock your phone to a specific band because on 4G, you've got many bands you can lock onto to, to test the network or enhance your phone's coverage. So the way to get into it is uh, you need to disable your SIM card. So as in, when I mean disable, turn them off. So go into your network settings, um, your SIM card preferences, and turn off your SIM. Now, if you have if you have eSIM, you have to turn it off somewhere else. I think you've got to turn it off under mobile network, uh, under this section here. You could turn it off and on and off here as well, and your eSIM. So there's two ways of doing it. So once your SIM's off, um, go back into your engineering mode. So it's star hash, star hash, 4636, hash star, hash star. Now, if you go into the 5G LTE debugging and in the personal, in my case, personal profile, now it, it enables your uh, ability to mini, you know, manipulate the phone and lock onto certain frequencies and ban on 5G and 4G. So I must stress again, you must, you must know what you're doing here. Don't go around and changing it and starting disabling things because you won't, you, your phone will be degraded uh, and, and it will be, you know, unless you're trained to recover it, it's, it's, um, it might cause you problems with the phone. Um, but I'll just give you a demo. So I want to, so currently I'm on, um, if I get my network, yeah, so I'll just go back in there again. So I want to disable um, LTE band 20 because that's one of the, my, uh, the bands that my, my serving cell site is broadcasting on. But obviously my serving cell site also broadcasts on band 1, 2100 and band 8, 900, I believe. So if I want to disable uh, LT, LT band 20 which is 800 meg so I can go in there and disable it band 20 which is uh, 800 megahertz 4G disable so that will remove band 20 from the list now if I go into my network settings and re-enable the sim Uh, my phone should no longer be camped on band 20 um, so the way to check it is having a, a cell monitoring app and straight away my phone is currently camped on band 1 which is um, 2100 megahertz 4G band so I'm going to go back in there and re-enable um, so I disable the sim first go back into the band locking engineering function and then I'm going to re-enable band 20, which is the 800 megahertz, and that should reappear in that list there, as shown there. Now if I go back and re-enable the SIM, so you've got to re disable and re-enable the SIM each time, um, and then go into my network band monitoring, there you go, my phone's camped on to band 20 now, 800 megahertz. Now the reason why it jumps back to 20 is because that's the preferred um, a band, my, my, you know, which my phone and my cell site is broadcasting on. Um, it doesn't always ca camp on band 20. It could camp on band 20, band one, band eight, depending on the load of the cell site. So it's good to optimize it, so you can optimize obviously your coverage and your signal level. If one band is 
um, extremely busy, it could be slow, you want to camp onto a different band to uh, alleviate the congestion and get a better get a better data throughput. So, uh, you know, I'm going quite technical here. Uh, if you're into engineering, then you know you know what I'm talking about. But but that's just an example. Um, so I'm, I'm going to revert my phone back to normal, which I've done already. It's band 20 since back on, and the phone's functioning correctly. So, so other things you can do with this sort of debugging engineering mode is 5G. Um, so you can manipulate 5G. So 5G is known as NR. NR new, means new radio. So it's, it's the abbreviation, you know, the standard that they call it for 5G, uh, similar to 4G LTE. So NR options, 5G, you could disable it, disable 5G in the option here. But you can also do that function in your normal normal phone menu anyway, so you don't need to do that. Um, the, the other two modes are, are, you know, are the sort of the hidden function. Um, you could set NR mode. So set NR mode essentially um, tells the phone to disable non-standalone or auto. So um, non-standalone um, 5G basically means um, the 5G core is routed by the 4G backbone network, whereas standalone, which, which will be set on auto mode, um, uses a brand new core in the backbone network, so you get a faster throughput. So basically, it's real; it's the real 5G, so to speak. So normally, you leave your phone on auto anyway, so don't touch that. Um, so any other other NR options, you could do the same as the 4G uh, with the NR enable disable. So you could enable disable um, the bands on 5G. Again, you need to know what your cell sites are broadcasting on. Um, currently, you know. Um, you know, 5G on most operators these days broadcast on the 3400 megahertz, so 3.4 gig. Um, some broadcast at, um, also broadcast at 2.1 gig, and other operators, you know, uh, you know, on the other bands or similar. So you can have a play. Like I said, you could, if you know what you're sort of looking for, you can optimize the bands and uh, and, and try and you know, um, you know, lock your phone onto a different band. You know, temp, the, the, you know, these are temporary measures. These are not supposed to be permanent. So I don't advise people just to lock onto the band and leave it permanently because you're going to have degradations as you drive or move around, you know, different cell sites. So this is only for sort of short term use at one location, really. Um, please don't sort of, you know, set it and leave it and forget about it. Then it'll, you'll definitely cause issues. Other information in the testing menu, that one's quite useful, phone information. So that just tells you, you know, um, cell site information, you know, cell tower information. So if I turn my SIM back on, actually, go back in there. Let the phone sync up, there you go. So information in there, which you don't have to view in here. I mean, you know, a lot of this information you could you could view using the cell monitoring apps from, from Play Store. So I'll just give you an example, the one I just used. So you can have um, network cell info light. So that gives you all the information anyway. So, you know, um, so you don't have to really go into that secret menu for that. That's widely available. But uh, I hope you found you know the engineering option quite useful if you're into that as well. Um, thanks for watching anyway. So if you're interested in my future videos, please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you see you guys soon. Cheers.